So you've finally done it. You listen to me and you're starting to shoot 16 millimeter, except that you're riddled with questions about how to do it. And now I'm not an encyclopedia, but I believe in you. And that's the most important thing. You know what's also important? Knowing how to safely handle that 16 millimeter film that probably cost you like a decent amount of money. 16 millimeter film usually comes in two lengths, 100 feet of film and 400 feet of film. 100 feet of 16 millimeter looks like this. It's the little boxes and it probably says load in subdued light or complete darkness, but don't worry, you don't need to do this in a darker. 100 foot rolls of 16 millimeter are on what's called a daylight spool. It's a metal spool that has the film wound onto it very tightly. This spool is safe to handle outside of a dark room. Now I'm not saying stand outside on a super sunny day and just hold it up to the sun. I'm saying that you can handle it in maybe the shade or some subdued light. The film will only be exposed on the first few feet of the roll, which ultimately you're going to lose anyways during loading or like the handling of the roll at the lab. If you're really, really trying to use every inch of film, then yes, load it up in complete darkness, but it's okay to do it with the light on. 400 foot rolls come in film canisters. These metal canisters hold 400 feet of 16 millimeter film and you have to absolutely handle this stuff in complete darkness it's got to be a dark room or a dark bag or a changing tent it's got to be light tight these rolls of film are inside the canister wrapped in a black plastic bag which you shouldn't rely on completely to protect the film so trust me only open these things in the dark. Inside of the bag is a 400 foot roll wrapped super tightly around a plastic spool. This plastic spool will fit onto your camera's magazine for loading this roll of film. There's no protective metal spool on this thing, just 400 feet of film wrapped around a plastic circle. So 100 foot of 16 millimeter on a daylight spool can be handled outside of darkness, whereas 400 feet of film in a metal canister wrapped on one of those plastic cores cannot be handled outside of complete darkness without ruining it. Okay, cool. I'm Noah, this is Analog Essentials. Don't go pulling that film out of canisters where it doesn't belong. Check the description for links to grab some 16 millimeter film yourself, and there's also a link down there for the Patreon should you feel so inclined.